Today is day six, and I got a crazy story to tell while I do my sets. Let's go. Okay, so on uh, on Saturday, Saturday night, um, I was at work and there's a coworker that um, I think was pretty attractive and like um, for the past like I say about a week and a half because she's new here, um, we just been like giving like awkward eye contact, but I really haven't said anything to her because I figured she wanted to say something to me. So that day on Saturday. I was chilling at the drink station and she came up to me and said that I'm the nicest guy in there. I'm like, thank you, appreciate it. Like, you can talk to me anytime and she didn't say anything. So I think I'll say about another hour passed. She goes back into the drink station and like my name tag is like right here. So she like leaned over, looked at my chest and like grabbed the name tag to see my name. And she was like, oh, okay. I was like, what's your name? She told me her name, yeah. After that, she just asked me how my tables is doing. I said, I'm good. She's like, you were supposed to leave, right? I'm like, yeah, but I guess I'm doing a double. So I say, around 10 o'clock, my last table is sat. And while my table is being sat, she comes back to the drink station and she just like has her phone in her hand. I'm like, yo, I know something is about to happen. Like she looked like she was hesitating, but at the same time she was observing. So yeah, um, after I finished my tables, it's around 11, me and her talking again. She asked me how was my day. I said, my day was good. I'm like, you know, I'm just grinding regularly. That, that, that extra extra time just adds more money to my pay. But then I get taxed. She was like, how much you got taxed on your last check? I said, about 200. She was like, damn. And that's when like, she started like looking in my eyes more while we were speaking. So that's how I went. It was just like small talk. Small talk gradually, so <clears throat> it's 12 a.m., which is yesterday, and I got me some spaghetti and meatballs. I get a discount on it because I'm an employee, and um, I got my lemonade, made my lemonade in the drink station, and I was getting ready to leave after getting checked out by my manager. So as I'm at the as I'm at the the machine to clock out. She comes next to me and she tries to clock out for me. She said, oh, that's my bad. I'm like, no, you good, you good. So she goes back to the waiting stand where you check the people in and give them to a table. And as I'm walking by, I say, yo, you have a good night. She's like, yeah, you too. I went outside, son told me to go back in there just to wait for my ride to come in front of the store so I can go outside. So I'm waiting by the window. Next thing you know, here's some fast ass footsteps behind me. I'll turn around. It's her with her phone. She like hurries up and gives me the phone. And what I see on there is first name, last name, phone number. And she was in her iPhone contact thing. So yeah, I gave her my number and shit. While I was giving her my number, I was like, I knew it, I knew it. She's like, what you mean? I was like, I knew you, I knew you wanted me. She was like, she started laughing. So I gave her my number and you know, after that I gave her a hug. Cause at the time I was wearing my tight t-shirt you know, let my muscles pop out. So I gave her a hug. I was like, yo, you get home safe now. She was like, yeah, you too. So I go outside, I was sitting on the bench, waiting for my ride. I say about 10, 15 minutes later, she comes outside too. She's like, what you waiting for? I was like, I was waiting for you. I wanted to like, you know, just give some game real quick. So yeah, we talking again. She's sitting across from me this time. I'm like, um, just hit me up. I'm like, we can talk, you know, you can get out of, you can know me, get to know me and stuff. She was like, oh, okay, okay. 
And she was like, all right. She's like, I'm going to hit you up when I'm home. I was like, I right, bet. So, yeah, I get home and um, me and her messaging each other, right? I'm going to show the text messages too, if y'all mind. But yeah, me and her messaging each other and shit. Um, she messaged me, hey. And I messaged her, was good. And we just having a regular talk. She actually lived like 10 minutes away. So as the conversation gradually uh, keeps going, she just mentioned something that I already knew that was going to go left. She so was like, her and a couple of my coworkers are going to Pride. I'm like, I'm like, is either she a lesbian or is she, or either she's into guys and girls? So I asked, I'm like, you into guys and girls? She like, I'm a lesbian. I was like, damn. I got baited, y'all. I got baited. I really got baited. Right, yeah. So she messaged me first. She said, hi, it's for team. I said, it was good. I'm glad you got home safe. She said, you too. If you're home. So I know I see you working mad hard. Thank you. Just keep reading, y'all. I don't feel like reading. I think this right here was her letting it be at home, but I was too blind to see it. Then I asked her what day she worked. She sent me her schedule. It's about the same as mine. Right now, this is when... This is when things really got fucking serious. She put... Her and her, her and my coworkers are going to Pride, which is what I was talking about in the video. I was like, damn. She like, I put you in the guys and girls. She said, I'm like, I said, yo. Yeah, she had me thinking she wasn't. Then she said it took me a long time to come on terms with that. Pretty certain I wouldn't be with a guy again. I don't care if anything at this point. I'm healing and doing self-reflection. That is deep. Yeah, I took the whole encounter different. Sorry I told you. I wasn't like trying to hit you. Sorry, I told you. I wasn't like trying to hit on you. I was like, crazy. I like to snap. I'm dumb as hell for that, yo. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, the way the encounter was, it seemed like she wanted me. Because she was like, she just kept like staring and smiling at me and shit. Yeah. But yeah, let's get back into our set. How much minutes I wasted on telling this useless ass story? I was told the useless ass story. Let's continue. But yeah, um, that shit was crazy. Like, don't, don't get baited, y'all. And I think I learned my lesson too, cause she messaged me and said, work relationships are a big no-no. She said, what if y'all get into something and uh, things are gonna be awkward at work? Well, to fix that point, if you're saying that, then that means you have a trouble, you have trouble maintaining and staying in the relationship if you automatically assume that you and the person you're dating at your job is gonna break up. That means you gotta work on building and keeping a relationship, which kind of threw me off too, cause you know, 
you can get into a relationship at work, but you got to learn how to, you know, keep the relationship. But at the same time, she's right, because if you date someone at work, only thing you really going to talk about is work. And you fucking there. Yeah. I wanted to get a blowjob. I wanted to, you know, fuck her throat, bro. <laughs> yeah. As far as the sex, only thing you can talk about is work. So it made no sense, you know? Which brings me to terms with me. It's going to be hard for me, y'all. And that's mainly because I hate people, man. I hate people. Um, you know, I, I can talk to you if I know that your vibe is right and you're not a negative person. But if I don't know you, if you don't know me, then I just don't like talking to people. I, mean, I hate people sometimes. Because people mad dangerous. You don't know what the hell people up to. Yeah, that's just how it is sometimes. Yeah, I hate people sometimes, you know? I don't hate everybody. I just hate people. You know, sometimes you gotta have your the times where you don't want to say anything to people. And that's me. I don't like I don't like being, you know, social like how I used to be in high school. Cause matter of fact, I think I was always the same way. That's just me. Yeah, I think I was always the same way. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. That's how it is now, from what I know. Yeah. Let's continue. Might be my longest video. It possibly is. Yeah, that ain't gonna be my longest video. But I'm gonna make sure I share how these met those messages so I can see and uh, understand the story a little better. This is crazy. I seriously thought that I had a chance, and it's crazy. The secret. The secret behind. Well, some girls decide to go um, lesbian because they got done dirty in the past by, by a boy that they couldn't, you know, keep a relationship with. And um, one of the messages, she said she wouldn't see herself in a relationship with a man ever again. That's just what it is. But moving on, I need to get back into the old savage me. Yeah. Mike V, watch my old videos, man. You're going to see how much more energetic I was. How much more I cared. Now, I don't really. I really don't care now. Um, I want to work on that. And I'm going to get back into caring again. You got to take one crazy thing to happen for me to wake up and realize that all this time I should have been listening, should have been retaining. Yeah, something's going to happen. It's going to make me realize that I should have retained. And I mean it. And when it does happen, the only person that's going to be able to blame for it is me because I move too fast. And now that I'm speaking into existence, I got to avoid it. So from this point on, I'm just not going to chase no feedback. 
a kid. A kid, man. A kid. Let's go. Also, um, I brought some prescription glasses from eBay, so I gotta work on my vision, and my vision is bad, my vision is terrible, which is why you see me squint a lot, my vision is bad, can't see shit, and I need glasses, you know, I've always needed glasses. I've always needed them. Now, I spent, uh, 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 spent some money just to get some glasses delivered to me. And I'm going to try them on. And if I like them, I'm going to wear them in every video. The last 10, this challenge so far is easy as hell now knowing that I can breathe right. Yep, I can breathe right now so it makes the challenge easier.